Good morning ladies and gentlemen my name is Falgun again i am with another video So today we are going to talk about the uh, very important uh, topic that is uh, heterokaryosis So firstly let us understand what is heterokaryosis Heterokaryosis is nothing but that is a situation of a cell okay uh, basically a cell contains two nuclei okay these two nuclei are from the different strains let us understand how it just existed right so basically we have a cell two cells from a different species actually the fusion of the cells occurs as a result that process is called plasmogamy as we all know that okay but it occurs the plasmogamy but it restricts the uh, karyogamy i mean in a division of the nucleus it does not have uh, does not uh, exist right so here what happens and now a single cell is there inside the single cell we have a two nuclei okay see these two nuclei one is from other species one is from uh, another species right so now what happens this condition of the cell is called heterokaryosis so now we are going to discuss about what are the benefit actually we uh, get to see uh, when in the case of heterokaryosis so let us talk about the benefits of the heterokaryon uh, well uh, first benefit is the genetic uh, genetic variability you can see over in the board so what is genetic variability genetic variability nothing but it is in uh, genetic uh, variations you can observe in the particular cell i mean uh, any morphological changes may occur okay um, which is not similar to the parent body so these are called the genetic diversity the changes in the gene composition right so that you can uh, able to see in the heterokaryon okay so next is the better growth it shows the better growth as compared to the homokaryon what is homokaryon uh, right so that is the question what is homokaryon well homokaryon is nothing but here the same as in heterokaryon uh, what happens here in the case of homokaryon we have only one cell okay that cell contains two nuclei but but those two nuclei are from the same species right so that's why they are as they are same that is that is why they are called as an homo in the case of heterokaryon uh, well they are different uh, the two nuclei are from the different species that is the reason why we are calling it as an hetero right so that is the basic difference okay so if we compare the homokaryon with the heterokaryon heterokaryon shows the better growth you know so last but not the least we have the point of in increasing the adaptability um, to the substratums of the of the various substratums okay so what happens these uh, heterokaryons uh, uh, kinds of uh, cells they can uh, exist wherever they want okay they basically they exist uh, uh, various many places uh, all across the globe uh, as compared to the homokaryon homokaryon uh, restricted to the various uh, uh specific places uh, but uh, heterokaryon are uh, present all over the world so that is all about the heterokaryon if you really like this video don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe my channel because you will be getting a tons of educational stuff thank you